Hello, this is Tarek Habib. Today I am going to discuss about cascading drop-down list in Laravel. Cascading drop-down list is one kind of drop-down list where the value of one list is dependent on the value of another list. Yeah? I am showing you, I already done the project and uh, I am showing you the project and then I will show you the code, discover the code and tables in the database and then I will uh, paste the database in the description section below the video you can copy it from there yeah okay this is an ed form ed means earning deduction earning deduction is useful when you make salary related report yeah so here this is earning deduction type yeah earning and deduction there is two type yeah if i select earning then see here in selected ed ed means earning deduction here is basic and hr but if i select here deduction it becomes tax and mobile bill so it means this drop down list value changed according to the value of the selected type ed type yeah see it's changed this earning is basic and hr this deduction is tax and mobile bill yeah so i am going to show you the code now i am using visual studio code uh, editor and also running this uh, mysql service in the xam control panel uh, this is my database i show you the table at first here is a table named ed earning deduction yeah and here is uh, two column name name and id id is actually type id yeah name is earning and deduction value and id value is one and two and if i go to ed items then this id is become type id here see earning basic earning hr direction tax and direction is mobile bill yeah so this value actually appear in the list so i am going to show you the code now here is dynamic dependent controller yeah in this controller i wrote here a db which is a facade and it access a method named table and it bring all the value from the ed table yeah by the plug function uh, plug is a function actually and it is a helper method it's called help, helper methods and is used to retrieve a list of specific values from a given array yeah, and it is most useful when used against errors of objects but will also work with errors just as well yeah and see here when we bring this value ed tables value yeah and we store it in a function method called plaque yeah and then we return the value to the we transfer the value to the ed variable and we when you call the entry view then we pass the value to the view by, uh, by this statement here yeah, compact ed we pass the value to the entry view so i'm going to show you the entry view see here resources views and then entry dot bed dot php okay here we have one select statement it means it select option it means it get a drop down list yeah and inside the option we are using blade statement yeah blade statements here you see it's start with at the rate yeah and it's a loop for each loop and uh, keep, keep in mind one thing that is when you use uh, want to use blade statement like this you have to add dot blade dot php extension at the end of the view name here see nt dot blade dot php yeah if you don't use dot blade dot php extension it would not be worked yeah so please uh, keep in mind this and uh, here in the option see for each here for in the for each we used ed as key and value yeah so we use key as the value and value as the text yeah this one value this one is the value yeah and in the back end we have a key 
which is key I mean the ID yeah? ID 1 2 and the value is the text and we also have another select statement yeah and option and here see one thing uh, name is type ID yeah so value of the this ID is changed when we change the type ID yeah and uh, here we wrote a JavaScript Ajax yeah one more thing I am to show you see when I change the this and the value of this one changed then see page doesn't get refreshed yeah uh, it only refresh the value yeah see page doesn't get refreshed it just only refresh the value so it happened because I am using Ajax yeah I'm showing you now Ajax uh, Ajax code is not here because I am extending the layout dot dashboard view so it's uh, all written in the dashboard view see layout in the dashboard in the dashboard i already add one jquery dot mean js and uh, bootstrap dot mean dot js and here in the end of the code i added a javascript code here a jquery document ready statement function and here if we change the type id here yeah? see if we change the type id then this as a code executed yeah at first we store the value of the type id in the tid variable and if tid ha ha has the value then it executes this statement see jquery ajax url is entry get type url is entry from slash get type and it pass a parameter and this parameter is the type id yeah, tid so we are going to see now entry get type here yeah. so here is entry get type it's in here in dynamic dependent controller see here controller inside the controller there is dynamic dependent controller and inside dynamic dependent controller we have a function called get type and it pass the id and you see it pass the id and this value captured here yeah in this id and uh, we using here db facade with table method and we bring all the value of ed items where type id is this id yeah and we store the value in the id and then we return the value as json and code yeah and we capture this value here in the data yeah and then we print that data we append that data see here we append the data in the value key and up in the value text value yeah in the option tag in the option tag yeah you can uh, create uh, dynamically option uh, and select in the javascript like this yeah so and uh, one more thing i am giving you this code in the description area but uh, i can't write this uh, arrow yeah this arrow in the description section in uh, below the video uh, so you have to add this yeah but i will give you this two lines of code and uh, so you see when we change the value this type id pass the value to get type uh, function and then that get type bring the value yeah this value so i think uh, this is all for today and uh, see you in the ne next lesson don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you very much bye bye